banyak Gonna take that trick, cut you down? Uh, how come I get over there? I'll get you over there and then you cut it down with your chainsaw. Okay. Good morning, well it's afternoon now, but it was morning when we started the video. So, all the holes are prepped, ready for the new beams to go in. So, I'll just walk you through the process, because I know a lot of you have seen me do it a lot before, but some people are new and some people haven't seen it. So, here's the process. Clear out the old pockets, get all the old beams out. Hopefully, the shape of where the beam was is still intact. That's step one. Step two, once we've cleared it out, I've taken to splashing all the holes with a powder of lime. One, it's gonna be limed anyway, but two, it dries a hole out instantly, and it's a good like pesticide preventative. It preserves the end of the wood, and it stops any kind of mites and stuff that are in there. Um, it's like an old fashioned mason's trick. So after that, cut all the beams to size, paint the ends with a black bitumen spray paint, which is kind of like a preventative to aid them not sucking up the moisture from the walls, although I'm not sure if that's necessary, as I've said before, but why not do it? Then, just slot the beams in. And it isn't always as easy as that, but hopefully here it is.
to floor in up until the bracing joist, but we're going to leave this bit out because tomorrow morning we're bringing up all the OSB cladding for the roof in an aid to just get something moving on it. There's still a delay on the wood and we've half been promised early next week, but I've contacted a few sawmills as well just in case. Just let's get this roof on. Anyway, I've got to prep the scaffolding for tomorrow for bringing the boards up and then we're about ready. Is a later job for today basically it's going to be quite hard to get these osb boards up because they're all tongue and grooved and that tongue and groove is super fragile but super important for fitting everything together really nicely and kind of you know making everything structural so we can't damage them so we can't winch them up because by the time the winch sucks in you know it's going to crumble it so there's a whole few step plan And is lift them from the ground onto here get them all stacked up and then uh, this is where it gets a bit weird someone stands on that platform we pass it up to them and they pass it up to the next level i know it all seems a bit weird but hopefully it works hopefully it's pretty swift and hopefully the boards don't get damaged and if we manage to get them up tomorrow i'm going to start nailing them on the outside of the roof and do you know what that's going to change like instantly because now it's like a shell with a skeleton and you can kind of see the roof shape but then getting it boarded it's like boom instant roof apart from the top bit anyway for that i'll see you tomorrow <laughs>